The next presenter is Mr. Carson Fowler. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Carson Fowler and after high school I plan to further my education and become an emergency room physician. An emergency room physician is a medical doctor or doc doctor of osteopathic medicine that has went through medical school and a residency program in emergency medicine. ER doctors are not specialized like other doctors like a cardiologist or a neurologist. They are like whole body doctors, so they focus on acute care to stabilize and transfer patients. Um, you have to have a bachelor's degree, you have to start off with a bachelor's degree, um, they can be at anything, but it's usually best to have it in science or healthcare, and then you need to go to medical school, and then once you graduate from there, you're a doctor, but you're not specialized, you enter a residency program, and in this case, it'd be emergency medicine. The average salary for an ER doc in Tennessee is $271,000 and ranges from $231,000 to $318,000 per year. And this comes out to roughly $22,500 per month and $141 an hour. Nationwide, you can make more if you're not in Tennessee, but um, it usually ranges from $310,000 to $472,000 per year. Um, working hours and benefits for an emergency room physician. You have many benefits that come with being a physician. Uh, you usually work a 12 hour shift, three to four days a week, which is roughly 40 hours, but you can easily exceed that. Uh, you have a relatively flexible schedule. You have experience in, med in various background in medical field. Um, sometimes I refer to jack of all trades, master of none which means that you know about the whole body instead of focusing on one part and diving deep into that. You have high quality health, dental, and vision insurance for physicians and their families. And you, have, you also have retirement. Internship and residency. The internship for a ER physician is the first, well for any physician, is the first year of a residency. Uh, this is where you work under the supervision of another doctor to learn your specialty for the next three to four years. Um, on average, the first year residents make about $60,000 per year, and then this goes up as you go into your second, third, and fourth years. ER doctors can work in any med, uh, hospital that has an ER room. Um, two local hospitals are Genova Hospital in Cleveland, Tennessee, and Fannin Regional Hospital in Blue Ridge, Georgia. My career portfolio contains my resumes so I can apply to schools and programs to, earn, to help me earn my degree. It shows my honors and awards that I've received to show what type of person and student that I am. It contains my letters of references and recommendations, and it also contains my CNA certification that Albany has to. Um, my budget, as of, right now, as of right now, I do not have a job, um, so my monthly income is zero, and my fixed income, is, or my fixed expenses is $1,520, and my controllable is 980 This leaves me with a negative $2,500 balance, which I hope to fix maybe this summer working as a CNA. Um, I will have to take out student loans to get through school, because I'm already in the negatives. Um, my future plans are to attend the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga and get my bachelor's degree in biology with a pre-medical focus. Then after that, I'll want to attend one of the five medical schools in Tennessee, which is Vanderbilt University, ETSU Quillen College of Medicine, UT College of Medicine, Meharry Medical College, or Lincoln Memorial Medical School. And once I finish medical school, I will enter emergency medicine residency program to become an emergency room physician. I chose this career to help and save people in various communities. Um, I've always been interested in the medical field for as long as I can remember. And my mom is a big role model that I've had. She, worked, she has worked in the medical field for ever. And she went back and she got a nursing degree. And now she works as an ER travel nurse. And she just has so many interesting stories and experiences that I've heard about. And it just gets me excited to enter the medical field and experience these things for myself. This concludes my presentation. My presentation, is there any questions? Uh, All right, you dove really deep into this, but
do you have any backup plans for if something goes wrong? Okay, so if I do not become a doctor, I do want to still be an upper, le upper level medical provider. And so I want to enter a physician assistant program, which the first four years, the bachelor's degree is the same. And then you enter the physician assistant program, which is three to four years. And you basically work as a doctor, but you don't, you have limitations. You can still prescribe medicine, but you can't do as many procedures and some of the medicines that a doctor can. Is there any other like specialties you would like to pursue other than ER? Like if I was a doctor? Yes. Um, I thought about maybe uh, plastic surgery or even general surgery, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So the only thing I noticed was the pay. Yeah. But I think it's I think it's identical to what teachers make. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty good. Any other questions? <laughs>